this matter is uh, I'm here for that matter, thereby not claiming a game, uh, the name, and there's a mistake. Where's the proper notice? And I want to deal with you honorably. And it's a back. You don't need to put any papers on behalf of the name. It's none of your affair. The same process works with the officers. They come around with a warrant or a summons or anything like that. What makes you think there's anybody here by that name? The thing of it, right. And if you claim them documents in any manner, you claim yeah. the name, and there's a controversy now. He's there to settle the matter. Or, you know, you become surety. You're the one with the claim on the name, see? Somebody breathing in the phone there. You want to back up a little bit? Yeah, it's, you know, it's like these uh, secured party status, all those, all that stuff the UCC teaches, all, the, all those, you know, the bonds, everything else. You're all creating controversies. Your actions are creating controversies. I don't care if you come in as an agent for this. You still did this. You, you you're think you're confident to handle it, and how are you confident to handle the affairs of that name? Well, yeah, and you're meddling on behalf of the name when you don't have the authority right. to. They created the name. You know, it's just we don't realize. We go in there. They're talking to that piece of paper on the judge's desk. When you right. go in there and say, hey, that's mine. Oh, you, this piece of paper's yours? No, nah, we got a controversy because the state says it's yeah. theirs over here. It's like Solomon there, kick Solomon with the baby, you know. Well, we could cut it in half and each have a piece, or you're going to surrender it. The one that surrendered it got to use the baby. You know, and when you, uh, and when you, when you go in there and do that, you go in there and, on the secured party, this and that, man, you've just obstructed the bankruptcy. You're meddling. You're, yeah. You're, yeah, you're meddling. You're meddling in, in their administration of the emergency. They're administrating it. That's why all the courts are administrative. They're not, they're not lawful courts. They're not, no. they're administrating a bankruptcy proceeding. And you go in there and, you know, people go in there and they lay down these claims and counterclaims and this, well, now they can't do their job and sell the account because some jackass made a controversy. Right. But the, the and, course, and then, the course, and then, my uh, books. In my yeah. books, they are lawful courts. It becomes a lawful court when you submit to the jurisdiction with a claim. Basic common law courts. Common law is another illusion, no different than the Constitution. It's a bunch of people with their common ideals in mind, but all it comes down to is did you create a controversy by claiming ownership of something? There's, you know, common law courts is just another smoke and mirrors game in my books. Exactly. See, the point of the matter is when you claim a side, or claim ownership of anything, then you're going to war. Why? They're going to take care of you. Just, you know, like in Star Trek, man, all the old series. One of their prime directives was not to screw with the peaceful inhabitants of the planet. You don't mess with the inhabitants. Okay. And, uh, you mean you want to be a United States citizen or whatever? Well, you know, have at it. But the point of the matter is you're laying claim to something. You're causing division. Yeah. Enjoy the ride, you know. When you go in and do this in court, do you ever get taken uh, inside the bar? It don't matter. That's all illusions, man. That's all. Yeah, I don't pay attention bullshit. to that. The only point they're looking for is they're a controversy. It's somebody here claiming a name. Then they got something to settle. Yep. That's all. All the rest of it. I got, I got the things flagged. I did all that flag, that admiralty bullshit, the bar, and not going in the bar. And I've been through all of that. It, it's all smoke and mirrors. Get you off point. It's testing you. You got to remember, the government's there. They're there. They're the sons of Cain. They're to lie to you, man. It's their job. They're licensed to lie to you. They want to see if you grew up yet or not. You can't tell the difference between a lie. Maybe you belong in jail, you know. But who's the one making the claim? What's your name? And he says, "You can call me uh, free to go." I should have been asking him, "How am I liable for the name, Judge? There's a mistake here." Yeah, but did you know that's a boomerang proposition? It goes back on them as well. That's why you get real good at asking questions. After you give the judge the evidence and nobody rebuts it, I'm here for the matter, there's a mistake, where's the proper notice and I want to deal with you honorably. After that, it's it's kindergarten, boys and girls. You sit there and ask the judge, he's the one in charge, ask him on the questions. Eventually, they're going to get you out of there. Or they're going to get somebody to talk to you. Say, hey, don't worry, we'll handle it. Yeah. Because you didn't put claim on a name. They named that piece of paper. That name they created. That name is the government's responsibility. In their eyes, that's their assumption. When you claim that name, you just created a controversy. Ooh, uh, hey, Judge, who do you want me to be? Huh? What are you doing here? As far as I know, there's a mistake. Somebody thought this piece of paper had something to do with me, and I looked at it, gave this address and stuff. I thought I'd come here out of love for you guys and see if we can, I couldn't help you guys settle the matter. The, the attorneys, they're, they're just window dressing, man. Huh? It, 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 they're there to get you into controversy if you're... 
if you're not grown up enough to realize, hey, you, you're still in kindergarten, you're going to sit there and argue over the toys? Well, we got to put you in time out, man. we got a playpen and some nice orange pajamas for you, you know? It's just when it comes to the state, all they're interested in is who's claiming the name. The only issue before the state is did you claim the name or not? That's, that's all it is. And, I mean, you could walk away from murder charges, rape charges. I'm not condoning any of that either, but... You know, it's that simple. People don't realize it. Repeat it, but the state assumes they own the name. And when you bring up, say, you lay claim to the name by saying, yeah, that's my name. Well, there's a controversy. And when you bring a controversy before the court, you need to put up surety. And you become it. Say, you, you notice the prosecuting attorney never puts up surety. I think it's that simple with credit cards, mortgages, or anything. Just go and tell the judge, judge, who's liable for the name? And you don't answer. I say, well, judge, what's the problem? Why don't you settle the matter? And turn around and go home. That's all he needs to know. He needs to know whether you're claiming a name or not. It's his job to make sure that account for that name is, is balanced. And the only way it's not balanced is if somebody comes in there and puts a claim on it. It's so simple. And you come in as a friend of the court, you know, yeah. under amicus curiae, and what you do is you're presenting evidence that it does for its consideration so we can make a, so we can make the proper determination. Exactly. Yep. You give him the evidence. Give him what he needs to do the job. But if somebody's got a claim on it, it's his job to make sure the matter's settled before they can close the account. The account goes into escrow once there's a claim on the name. And you're the surety. Well, the point of it is, you know, can you deal with the officer when he comes knocking on your door? Are you prepared to go to jail if that officer makes a mistake because he recognizes you from a prior time that you claimed the name? It's best, my opinion, to go in that court and face that judge give him what he needs. Uh, that's the way I look at it. But Right. The, the, see, see, the bench bench warrant is just a piece of paper with the name on it. When that officer comes and asks, are you such and such? What evidence do you have that anybody by that name is here? See, now that's a way around it. Maybe that officer will just go back and get in his car and go home. Chances are they'll just say it couldn't be served, and yeah, they might just zero the account. It's been known to happen, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> The matter of it is, it can depend on the officer. You could be going down the road and use that driver's license once. They'll call it in and find warrants on it, and all of a sudden you find out your surety for that name. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a beauty. I love that when they say, I'm a sovereign citizen. Oh, uh, are you? My... No longer, if you don't like it, get out of my country. I was told today, if I don't like it, I can leave the planet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, ain't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah. So, that, so it's been escalated. It's no longer leave my leave my land leave my continent out, leave the planet. You don't like it, go find some other planet. Remember, what you put out, you get in return. Where's the love, yeah. man? That's why this country with the illegal alien and all, all that bullshit there, there's no such thing as an illegal alien. If you treated these people coming across the border with love and respect, there'd be no war. It says right in the Old Testament there, if you read it, when you do that, you're going to get your clocks clean, man. Treat the sovereign, the traveler, with honor. They're not doing it in this country. They want to fight. Well... You're going to get it. Careful what you wish for. Who says you got to have a green card? Think I need a green card to go to other countries or anything? Oh, I, I'm a peaceful and having it. You guys going to let me cross or not? You know, what's the big deal? He, he, he told everybody the Constitution's nothing but a goddamn piece of paper. And heck, they wanted to string him up for that. Yeah, it's just a piece of paper for crying out loud. You going to let a piece of paper tell you what to do? I think I was I asked that guy the question that last night. That's the only way they get jurisdiction over you is if you consent to their yeah. courts. It's right in there. It's the bottom line. That's all that all that hoopla and all that good sounding stuff. Do you consent or don't you? You're a United States citizen. You just became lower than a private man. You got nothing to bitch about. Shut up and pay the tax. You volunteered. What more do you want? But yeah, we just got to grow up and realize how simple it really is. It says in the scriptures, my burden is light. I kept asking myself that, and finally it dawned on me one day. Like I say, I got buckets and buckets of paperwork, years of studying their laws, and it never dawned on me until the time I went to court. I'm here for that matter. There's a mistake. I didn't claim ownership of anything. Man, the gates opened up. No problem. No burden. I don't own anything. What do I got to worry about? The point of the matter is, did you claim the name? If you claim the name, well, yeah, you better pay the taxes. You're the one who puts the burden on yourself by claiming the name. What's it got to do with me? I don't claim ownership of anything. Big freaking deal. Let them guys have at it. How can I help settle the matter, Judge? How do you want me to pay you, Judge? Gee, Mr. Tax Collector, how can I pay you? I I'm here. What do you need? I'll give you everything I can to, you know, 
Impossibility of the law is not required. What's the problem? You just do that to them, man, they go away. I love you, man. Hey. What can I do for you? Well, the point of it is they're taxing the people that claim ownership, the people that are greedy. point of the matter, they're just looking to know whether you're claiming anything. You tell that IRS agent, how can I help you? They'll settle it, man. They'll go away. They won't bother you. They're looking for an argument, man. They go to jail because they created a controversy, and then they volunteered to go to jail. I mean, whose fault is that? Uh, you're creating a controversy, and I ask them, how am I creating a controversy by asking questions? When have I created a controversy here, and it's all paid for? Never, yeah. never accuse your brother, man. People need to learn that. Never accuse anybody. They'll do fine on their own. I had that prosecuting attorney. I'll never forget it, man. I, I went in there. I'm here for the matter. There's a mistake. Uh, I have no proper notice. I want to deal with this honorably, and I said this shouldn't even be in court. And she jumped up and said, well, it already is. And, you know, I didn't realize at the time, but what she just did what was, uh, boy, I bet she got her ass chewed for that. She just didn't rebut one thing I said. She said she bought a frivolous charge before the court. And she was sedition because the charge was against the United States, which she supposedly swore an oath to uphold. Think about what she just did by that state. Nobody laid claim to that hot potato, man. And they took care of it. I didn't ask them to do anything. All charges went to the prosecuting attorney. Beautiful. What evidence do you have? I have a claim on it. Does anybody have a claim besides the state? No? Well, good. What are you waiting for? What do you need me for? Ask a judge that, man. I'm telling you, in these foreclosures and all this stuff, you go in there and tell that judge, judge, if the state owes them, why haven't you paid them yet? No. You know, settle the account. I don't have a claim on it. What more can I tell you? You know, what evidence do you have that I have a claim on this account? That's all it is, man. You claim the name. That's, that's, that's the problem. They say pay these tickets. I'd say, hey, I'd be glad to. How can I pay them when I don't own anything? How can you pay if you don't own anything? It's so simple. But at, you can ask them, what do you want me to pay with? But I, I'd rather just say, hey, how can I pay you when I don't own anything? You know, it's not that I, you know, what do you want me to pay with? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me, what can I pay with, too? I think it's simpler to say, how can I pay you when I don't own anything? Um, with Federal Reserve notes, which are, in a sense, a debt instrument, you never pay it. It just goes on account. It adds to the national debt. Why don't you guys zero the account, man? Yeah, you want you want one of the out there expanding the national debt, would you? Yeah, I'm, I'm here trying to help you guys, man. What's your problem? It's beautiful if you can get your mind wrapped around it. I forget, Dallas debt. Discussion. I got on there last night, man. He couldn't wait to get me off. I kind of asked him a pointed question, a couple of them at the end. He kept accusing his brother. He, he accused me of creating a controversy, and all I was doing was asking him questions. I asked him, how am I creating a con Don't let me get in the way of your happiness and success. You gave them the information they needed, and they gave you the card to use. Yeah. Just balance the account. It's there for you to go out and get what you need. I just get what I need. How am I liable for it? What would you like to be called? Help us out here, would you? Well, voting is a choice. If you well, vote, you, you, yeah. If you vote, yeah. you you're giving them jurisdiction over you. I don't vote. I, I I'm I think I'm competent enough to rule my own affairs, take care, of make the proper choices. What do I need a representative for? Say, Judge, I'd be glad to pay you. How can I do that for you? Right. right. Let them settle the matter. Don't intervene. Don't be telling them lawyers and judges what they need to do. The point of the matter is I'm a friend of the court. Unless they address you as such, they're not talking about you. Let them settle the matter. Believe me, they'll settle it. Just let it go. Yeah, all we can do is control what we do. We don't own it. All we do, all we have is a choice, you know? One of the secrets of this stuff is knowing how to ask a question. The answer is in the question. Now just stay in honor. I'd be glad to answer your question. Please tell me how I can do that for you. Ask them. I'm here, you know. Let's have a meeting of the minds. You got to work on it, you know. I have no proper notice. The only way you're going to get a meeting of the minds is when you both agree on something. Other than yeah. that, it's just, you know, hearsay. Yeah, he accused me of causing a controversy, and I asked him, when did I ever start a controversy? I'm just asking you questions here, more or less, you know. I don't apologize for anything, man. You don't like it, get over it. I, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I, for, I, I try to forgive myself. If you got a problem, you can't forgive. How, how can you forgive anybody else? You know, and you you're the one who's got to sleep with what you do. Yeah. And if you don't forgive, guess who's got the problem? The guy uh, 
Hey, was you there? It's a different world, man. When in Rome, do as the Romans. How can I help you? You don't want to make your brother look bad. He does fine on his own. Don't ever accuse anybody of anything, you know? They'll do it on their own, man. That's how they get in the courtroom. You accuse yourself.